a former Brahmin devotee of Krishna named Arjuna Mishra, who read many scriptures and many commentaries on the Gita and Bhagavatam. He read the Gita every day, and while reading, many spiritual sentiments would arise within him. He wrote his realizations and desired to publish them, so that ordinary people would be able to easily understand them. In this way, he engaged in bhajan. From the beginning of his life, he never took any employment. He would only beg for one hour each day, and the rest of the time he would study the scriptures, take Harinam, and perform Shravanam Kirtanam. He married, and he and his wife were very content together, living, on whatever Bhagavan gave them. They had no material desires at all. They only read the Gita and contemplated spiritual topics. In the early afternoon, when most people take their lunch, he would go begging. His wife would prepare whatever he collected, and the couple would subsist solely on that. Before going out on this day, he had been writing down the meaning of the Gita verses one after another. He then came to this place. Ananyas chintayanto man, yejana paripasate, tesham nitnitya biyuktanam, yoga kshemam bahamyaham. Ananyas chintayanto man, those whose minds are fully self-controlled, who have no other object of meditation besides Krishna. Yejana prayupasate. One who worships Krishna in all ways, especially by the medium of Shravanam and Kirtanam, becomes situated very near to him. Tesha Nitya Vyuktanam. One who performs bhajan like this, one who performs bhajan fixed in this way, the result is, the, is for the happiness of Krishna, not for themselves. Even if a person of bad conduct engages in this sort of exclusive bhajan, then Krishna will accept him. But if this exclusive sentiment is not there, then Krishna will never reveal himself. For those who have exclusively taken shelter of Krishna, He is their protector and maintainer. Without Him, there is no other. Yoga Kshemam Baham Yaham Krishna is saying that for His devotees who perform bhajan like this, He will supply all their requirements and even collect them and carry them Himself. How can this be? This is not right. Why, I am now an old man, over 70 years old. Up until today, Bhagavan has never directly looked after us like this. We have been engaged in exclusive bhajan. And today, there is not a single mouse in the home. Why? Because there is no food in the house. We have nothing in our home not even any foodstuffs for today's meal. I will go out and beg, and whatever I acquire, we will take that only. Isn't Bhagavan seeing this? Is he not within the hearts of all souls, witnessing everything? Certainly he hasn't taken care of us, as he is saying in this verse. Krishna would never carry the burden on his own head. It is not possible for Krishna to have spoken this verse. Someone else must have inserted it. I'll scratch it out. He would inspire a Brahmin, a king. 
or some other wealthy man to come and help us. But he would never carry the burden on his own head. The all-knowing and all-powerful Prabhu? We have heard that he made the poor Brahman Sudama into a king, but he didn't physically carry any burden for him. We haven't heard of this. Arms. Would anyone have any arms for this Brahman? Yes, sir. Do you have any arms for this Brahman? No, not today, I'm sorry. We have run out of everything. Maybe you could come back tomorrow and try again. Do you have some arms for this poor Brahman? some arms for this poor Brahman? <laughs> Do you have some arms for this poor Brahman? I'm sorry, Brahman. I have nothing today. There is nothing in my entire house. <coughs> Do you have arms for this poor Brahman? Go away at once! What do you do now? <laughs> oh, Baba, do you have arms for this poor Brahmin? Baba, I am very sorry, but my, my arm is very impure for. Three days I cannot give anything to anyone because one of my one of my family members has just passed away. So I'm sorry. Do you have any arms for this poor Brahmin? I don't have anything, and I won't give you anything anyway. Go away. I'll get your dog after you. Do you have any arms for this Brahmin? No, I haven't even a single grain of rice in my entire house. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you have any arms for this Brahmin? No, I don't have anything on you at all. I'm very sorry. It must be the will of the Lord. The Brahmin wandered and wandered through the town. Three o'clock passed, and still he hadn't collected a single thing, so he started to return home. <coughs> Meanwhile, the most merciful Lord, who protects the surrendered soul, saw that a doubt had appeared in the mind of his devotee. Therefore he came as an extremely beautiful, tender, black-colored boy. Filling two baskets with ample rice, dal, vegetables, ghee, and so on, and putting them on the two sides of a long stick, he personally carried them on his shoulders and went to the house of this phenomenon.
My dear boy, please come inside. Gokinath, my dear, you were so fortunate. Today, you have met Sri Gokinath personally. He has carried all of 
these things. Otherwise, how could have I brought so many things? This morning, this morning when I was writing my commentary on Gita, I came across a verse that I doubted. I doubted the words of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Gokina. And I crossed those I crossed those words out, three lines with red ink. And that is why he has scratches on his back. Sri Gopinath is so supremely merciful to point out that his words are actually true. He has gone through so much pain to remove the doubts to remove the doubts of this atheist like me. (laughs) How Gopinath! How Gopinath! After some time, the Brahmana came back to consciousness, taking bath and performing his daily duties. He offered food to Sri Gopinath, and with great love, both of them accepted his relents. He continued writing the commentary on Gita every day that his life became full of love. Yeah. <laughs> 